We're being asked if the functions 9 plus x, x, and x squared are linearly independent or linearly dependent on the set of real numbers. Solution. We'll start by supposing we have what's called a linear combination of our three functions and that it's equal to 0. So what is a linear combination? Well, it's c sub 1 times 9 plus x. Here c sub 1 is a number, plus c sub 2 times x, plus c sub 3 times x squared. And we suppose that this is equal to 0 for all x in the set of real numbers, and some arbitrary c sub 1, c sub 2, c sub 3, and r. One of two things will happen at this point. All of these c sub i's, c sub 1, c sub 2, c sub 3, will be equal to 0. So all c sub i are equal to 0. If this is true, then the answer is independent. Or not all c sub i are 0. If this is true, then the answer is dependent. OK, so we continue. So we distribute 9c sub 1 plus c sub 1x plus c sub 2x plus c sub 3 times x squared. And we set this equal to 0. At this point, we collect like terms. So 9c sub 1 plus c sub 1 plus c sub 2 times x plus c sub 3 times x squared and this is equal to 0. So how do we figure out what the c's are? Well, the left-hand side is a polynomial. The right-hand side is a polynomial. Two polynomials are equal only when their coefficients are the same. So we'll start by what's called equating coefficients. So first, let's look at the constant term. This is 9, c sub 1. And this is equal to the constant term over here which is 0. Now let's look at the coefficient of x, c sub 1 plus c sub 2. And we set it equal to the coefficient of x on the right-hand side. Here it is, plus 0x. So this is equal to 0. Now we look at the coefficient of x squared, which is c sub 3. And we set it equal to the coefficient of x squared on the right-hand side, which is 0x squared. They're not written here, but they're really there because these are just 0. So this is 0. To finish, we divide this by 9. So we get c sub 1 equals 0. Here you plug in the 0. So you get 0 plus c sub 2 equals 0. So c sub 2 is 0. And then we've already determined that c sub 3 is 0. So all of our c sub i's are 0. So the answer is independent. And that's how you figure out if three functions are linearly independent or dependent. So to recap, you start by writing down what's called a linear combination. Linear combination of your three functions and you suppose that it's equal to zero for all x and r and some arbitrary constants which are also real numbers. If it turns out that all of them are zero like it did in our case the answer is independent. If it turns out that not all of them are zero then the answer is dependent. And just to make the point if we would have had c sub 1 equals 0, c sub 2 equals 0, and say c sub 3 equals 2, then the answer would have been dependent. But that wasn't the case. That's not what happened here. Here the answer is independent. That's it.